Education Minister Rakam A. Sangma has indicated that the regularization of SSA teachers poses a significant financial challenge for the state government as it would result in an annual additional expenditure of over rupees 200 to 300 crores. However, he assured that the state government is exploring all possibilities to address concerns not only of SSA teachers but ad hoc teachers as well. If we regularize, government decide to regularize them, they will uh, they will demand for the same scale of pay as the government is getting now, but it will be huge, huge burden for the state to come to such a extent like we don't have any all our all revenue. So therefore, I think as of now, but government is exploring the all kind of possibility, and we are also set up and we are going through the, I mean, <coughs> recommendation of the uh, education commission also, and we are also finding the way what. What best can we do? But we are certainly we are finding the way to have all this. Not only the SSA, but all the adult teacher. There are some proposal coming in uh, about uh, creating the district cadre. Mm -hmm. Like uh, they will be absorbed as it is. They will be what you call government will absorb as it is without. Uh, giving any pay scale increment but they will be recognized by the now as of now they are appointed by the smc of the school managing committee they are not appointed by the government so taking over as of now by the government said is lots of complexity complexes is there complex issues there because they are not appointed by the government they are appointed by the smc so if government decide to take over many smc will not allow so for, for example there are many schools run by the churches which is getting also some SSA fund if we decide to take over that particular school by the government managing committee will not allow certainly it is not it's not going to so then all this complex is happening so of course the financial is the issue but however uh, we are finding the way how to what you call bring them in a, in a better standard after all they are also doing the same same responsibility in teaching the uh, same duty as in the government. This is what the whole issue is. But we, but certainly, uh, like now after NEP coming in about uh, MTET, so uh, we are working on how what can we do because like there are many SSA teacher who have been already absorbed in the government through what you call uh, through MTET proper recruitment maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow government <coughs> suppose in the government there are 1000 post vacancy arise in a year maybe tomorrow government may decide 500 will be for direct direct uh, recruitment 500 maybe for the uh, departmental absorption from the SSA from the adult teacher based on the qualification based on the criteria laid down by the ministry the education or the NCTE based on the for example MTEC pass so all things we are I mean exploring the way so all this will not be ruled out so we are exploring what can be done but we are also planning to have a developmental exam also from all the qualified teachers will be appearing for the for the uh, for the department like exam. we are in line so we are exploring what the best possibility so we are also in the discussion that this these things may work that may work but at the end of the day we will decide the best one which will suit for the interest of every teachers and every people of the state on vacancies in ssa schools the education minister said there are more than about uh, 1000 plus vacancy under ssa has been created because of some has been retired some has been absorbed in the different different sector some has been got absorption in the medical appointment all things happen but in under ssa there are many many schools without enrollment so government is decided that we will not government will not reappoint the teachers on ssa program where there is no enrollment however there are vacancies where there is enrollment. So we have already instructed all the DMCs to give us a proper uh, report and to seek approval from the government that wherever there is a enrollment on best of all requirement, we have already, we will examine based on the proposal and the report 
uh, along with the uh, what you call enrollment of the students of the schools and we will I think government will review to reappoint the assistance in certain schools based on the requirement.